Hello and welcome back to the 30 days of Etsy series. In this video, I'm going to be going through product listing tags for your Etsy shop products. Now, before we get into this tutorial, I just wanted to note a couple of things about product tags. Now, tag tip number one is Etsy give you the option to add 13 tags for your listings. Now, ensure that you use all of these spots to optimize your SEO. You don't want to go ahead and use one, two or three when you can really capitalize on that ranking by using all 13. OK, so make sure you're using all 13 tags. Tag tip number two is use multi word phrases where possible. So, for example, I wouldn't add brand as one tag and then board as another tag, you would put them together like brand board. So that would be your one tag. OK, so just keep that in mind. Tag tip number three is you want to target long tail keywords where possible. So although Etsy give you a 20 character limit for your tags, try to include your long tail keywords. So, for example, one of my keywords is brand board template. So I would want to add this as one of my tags as it just sits under that 20 character limit. Tag tip number four is try not to repeat your tags. So if you sell jewelry, don't use pendant necklace and then pendant stone necklace because you're using pendant and necklace twice. So try to break these up where possible. Now tag tip number five is don't repeat categories and attributes. So for example, my product is in the templates category. So I wouldn't want to use templates or template again in my listing because it's already been used in my category. And tag tip number six is don't worry about misspellings or plurals as Etsy will ensure that these are taken care of. Etsy have a pretty sophisticated system and they can figure out when things are kind of misspelled. So like, for example, the British and American spelling of some words. So color, for example, another example is jewelry. They're just spelled a little bit different in different countries, but Etsy will take care of those for you. OK, so now let's get back to that spreadsheet, the one that we went through in the past two videos to find analyze our product listing details and get our tags up to speed with our product listing. OK, so again, just as a refresh before we headed back into that spreadsheet, we are basing this example off of this item that I created. So this product I created, which is a pre-designed brand board template. I haven't uploaded this into Etsy as yet into my shop. I just wanted to go through how I use the spreadsheet in order to do my keyword research, create my product listing title, my my product listing description. And now we're going to go through the tags. Now now, if you've been watching my other two videos, this should look very, very familiar. So again, we had our research, so our keyword research here at the top. Then we were started to go through our product listing details. We included our product title. We went through how to choose our category. We briefly went through attributes. We went through how to create your product description. Now we want to go through how to create our tags. Now I've got a note here. We need 13 in total, just in case you forgot. Like I mentioned, it's to give you the option, but I would highly, highly recommend you using all 13 within your Etsy listing. So the first thing you want to do is let's go back up to our product title and let's reference our keywords as well. But here, so what you want to do is you want to actually draw out the very first few words that you use in your product title and match these up with your product tags. So I would like where possible to create long tail keywords that say pre-made brand board Canva template. So obviously that is way more than the 20 character limit. So I'm going to split that up and create a couple of extra tags. So I might create a tag that's pre-made brand board. If it fits, I'm going to do brand board template. I'm going to do brand board Canva. I'm going to do Canva template, peach color brand board if possible. I'm going to do editable Canva template if possible. I'm going to do Canva template. I'm going to do business branding, editable template. So you can see how you just want to start splitting this product title up to create the first handful of your tags. Then if you've got any tags left over, what you want to do is you want to scroll back up here to where you've got your competitor tags and where we've got our Etsy search terms. We want to use these as fillers for our tags. OK, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then when I'm finished, I'm just going to quickly run through it with you to see what we've come up with. 
Okay, so I've created my 13 different tags. Just having a look over it now, there are a few repetitive words like template, branding, brand and Canva. Now I've previously mentioned that we're not striving for perfection here and none of this is set in stone. You can always go back and edit, play around and you can delete the whole thing if you like and start all over. But this is just a great way to get started, get the you know, get the creative juices flowing. And this spreadsheet just helps to get away from Etsy for a minute, take a step back and use this spreadsheet to help you map out what it could look like for you. So for now, I'm happy with that. We'll, we'll see how we go. Um, sometimes some products can be very, very difficult to come up with creative tags. So it's just a matter of maybe going back having a look at some other competitors to see what they're doing, uh, to maybe even go back to your own products and check out what tags you're using within different products in your shop because something might, you know, something creative might come up. Also, I thought I would mention that if you create products that are gifts or for special occasions and things like that, put in the tags gifts for her or wedding gift or, or Father's Day gift or Mother's Day gift, if that applies, this is a great way to add a, a little bit of an SEO boost to your product listings. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful. I guess this was like our product listing broken up into three different videos. We had our keyword research, we had our product titles and descriptions, and now we're finishing off with our tags. So if you combine this all together, I'm sure it would be one big tutorial, but I didn't want to overwhelm you with too many things. I thought breaking it up like this would probably be the best way to get it to you. Now, like I've mentioned before, don't forget to come join me in the private Facebook group, the 30 Days of Etsy Challenge Facebook group. Like always, I'll be in there daily just to check up and see if there's any extra comments or queries that you might have in regards to this video or any other videos within the series. And within the Facebook group, there's also prompts for promo days so that you can share your own Etsy shop and and share your Etsy listings as well. I wanna to get to know you and your Etsy shop as best possible. And I think that's the best way we can do that. And I will see you again tomorrow for another video in the 30 Days of Etsy series. Bye for now.